Hi everyone, and welcome to our screencast on acids and bases. So today we're going to be learning about the pH scale. pH is the concentration of hydrogen ions in a solution. And if you've never seen this symbol before, you should know that when you see square brackets, like this, that means the concentration of whatever's inside the brackets. So if you have H+, plus, then the concentration of hydrogen ions in a solution. So pH is a measure of how many hydrogen ions are in a solution. And when you move from one number to the next, the change in the amount of hydrogen ions, or the concentration of hydrogen ions, is 10 times. So if you move from a pH 11 to a pH of 10, there are 10 times more hydrogen ions in the solution. Two spaces down the pH scale, from a pH of 9 to a pH of 7, you actually are increasing your pH by two numbers, but by doing that, you're increasing the amount or concentration of hydrogen ions by 100 times. If you go down three spaces, say from a pH of 6 to a pH of 3, the amount of hydrogen ions will increase by 1,000 times. So the lower your pH, the more hydrogen ions you have in the solution, and that makes you acidic. The less hydrogen ions you have, all the way up to a pH of about 14, means that you have a higher pH, and that makes you alkaline. Alkaline is just another word for basic. So if you have a low pH, you're acidic. If you have high pH, you're basic. Let's talk about a few things that we would find in the everyday world that are acids and bases. So you probably know and remember that lemon juice or any citrus fruit has a low pH. Lemons are acidic. Wine is also acidic. Rain is acidic because of all of the chemicals we put in our environment at a pH of about five and a half. Um, human blood is actually slightly basic. It's over seven. So a pH of seven is neutral. And if you're above seven, you're slightly basic. If you're well above seven, like bleaches, you're very basic. Anything that is slippery is usually basic. And, and anything that is sour is usually acidic. If bitter makes you basic. So let's talk a little bit more about acids. Um, when we're talking about the human body, saliva is neutral. It has a pH of seven. Stomach acid has a pH of around two and a half, two, two and a half. It's very acidic because of the hydrochloric acid that's in your stomach. pH, therefore, between zero and 6.9 so just below 7 is something that has more hydrogen ions in the solution and is therefore acidic. Acids turn litmus paper red. They conduct electricity. If you drop an acid on some metal, like some magnesium metal, it will make hydrogen gas. Acids are corrosive. They'll burn your skin. But for our purposes, the most important thing that you need to know about acids is that they contribute hydrogen ions into a solution. So if you take some hydrochloric acid and you dump it into some water, as soon as the hydrochloric acid hits the water, it will separate into hydrogen ions and chlorine ions. Therefore, if you put an acid in water, it will release hydrogen ions into the solution. And what will it do to the pH? It will cause the pH to decrease, become more acidic. So here we have a chemical reaction showing you the same thing that I just explained. Hydrochloric acid, when it's put into a solution, will separate out into hydrogen ions and chlorine ions. It will dissociate. So let's talk about bases. Bases go from a pH of about 7.1 all the way to 14. The higher the pH, the more basic or alkaline you are. Things in the body that are slightly basic, human blood, is, uh, has a pH between 7 and 8. Um, 
the juices in the intestines have a pH of about 8.5 and we'll talk more about the different pHs in the body when we talk about the digestive system. Bases, you should know, turn litmus paper blue. They conduct electricity just like acids do. I said earlier that usually anything that's slippery is a base. Bases are caustic, which means they'll eat right through your skin. But again, the most important thing that you need to remember about bases is for this course, bases release hydroxide ions into a solution. So if I took a common base like NaOH, sodium hydroxide, and I dropped it into water, as soon as it hit the water, it would separate just like the acid would. It'll dissociate into sodium, which is a metal, and hydroxide. Anytime you see hydroxide, you relate that to being a base. The hydroxide will increase the pH and make the solution more basic. What a base does if you are defining a base, it removes hydrogen ions from the solution. And that's because the OHs that are released from the base when it hits the solution will grab onto any hydrogen ions that are in the solution. And when the two of them join up, they make water. Two hydrogens, one oxygen. So when you're defining a base, so when you're defining a base, bases take hydrogen ions. Because they're removing hydrogen ions out of the solution, there's less hydrogen ions in the solution, which means the pH will increase. So if you had to look at that with a chemical equation, here's our NaOH. The NaOH will separate into sodium and hydroxide, and then the hydroxide will grab any hydrogens in the solution and turn them into water. So why do living things need to maintain a certain pH? Because if the living system got too acidic, many problems can develop, such as uh, the acids will eat holes in the digestive system through the digestive tract, which is what happens when you have an ulcer, uh, when your stomach is too acidic. And there's various other things that will happen to your body if the pH is off, off balance. And so your body likes to maintain a pH between 6 and 8. And how it does that is through a process called homeostasis. Now homeostasis actually means to stay the same. So what your body does is just like a thermostat in your house. It will shut off when it gets too high, and turn on when it gets too low. And the body is, does basically the same thing. Um, and one of the things that your body is controlling through homeostasis is the pH. So most living systems want to keep their pH between 6 and 8. Now again, that depends where you are in the body, because if you're in the stomach, the pH needs to be closer to 2.5. So make sure you come to class with your hot questions all about acids and bases.